nothing in it. Your man, in it. Right, well, if you read in the book, apparently you can get an external mic. I can't get that for my, 
for my video camera, so if I do my trains, you're getting the wind noise on it, but you're the, the shushing of the wind all the time. Spoiled, well, the video's good, but a couple of the say so no one to get yourself a mic, you know. Well, you can get one, you can get one. For this camera I bought the other day, you can get an external camera, uh, an external mic. Right. And I was thinking, well, I don't know, I, I'm not going to get one yet, but I do know the first train coming into Cardiff is on St. David's Day, which is about six weeks roughly, like it. So what I might do, I might go down to camera shop in Cardiff, say in a week, and ask them, you know, um, which ones, it's got, it's got, um, there, there is one they recommend in the book, I'll have to jot, um, I'll have to jot, the, um, what's the number down to it, there's, um, oh, what do you call it, a certain number on it, probably a certain make it's called as well, and then it, it worked perfect for the thing, but what it is, you turn the mic on, and you don't get all, well, you got like a fluffy thing around the, um, around the microphone, you don't get all that flipping nonsense yeah. of the wind. But yeah. when the wind is really bad, you can hear it like whistling and all the creaking noises and it's, it's a pain in your ass, it is. This way you know, you can all right. alright. Yeah. See, no, it shouldn't affect this, but well, good. Because it's sealed in, right? I tried it on here and last night and a couple of times. If it's out in, if I'm using it in the open, the microphone picks the sound up. But if you're talking on here, I'll, I'll test it out later when I get home. I can cover it up with my camera when I don't the thing if I want. My, my, um, my mobile, oh. if I want. Uh, we'll see it. When the red light is on, then die dries off. When the green light is on, then die dries off as well again. <laughs> What's this called? Commercial street, but it's all commercially shot anyway. Because it's like uncontrollable, see? Yeah. 
But when you switch it on the dash, it don't make a difference. You freaking slam the brake on, or you freaking shove the freaking throttle down, whatever. Mm. It's got to go. It's got to go with the motion of the car. Mm. Very good, yeah. yeah. So I got to give it a try for about ten minutes, and then what it is, I'll watch it back when I get home. I say, what I do, give it a try, like a, like it's with Alan, see. Eh? I want to give it a try on the bus yesterday, but it's always better. See, it feels like it's face uh, in the front seat of the bus. You say like by the side of the driver. You know what I mean? And then what it is, see that you can you can you can get a good view, yeah. But if you're looking out, if you're looking out the window on the side, it's okay. But it's not the same as when you're looking through the windscreen, is it? That's why some people when they put I put my train videos on, but some people have run the train videos on, they're on the right in the cab of the local. But I do wonder is it the train driver is doing it? What are you doing? You put in the put in the thing on there and just leave the camera run. Because you got a you got a, you got a brilliant view out the train window, see that? Yeah. No, on the cab, because there's nothing in front of you. Yeah. All it is, you just all the sets of the rails on the town, yeah. crossings and a couple of buildings and that. But when you're looking out the window, now you got all the banks and the trees anyway. Yeah, well, you might have yeah.